4-3-2-1. Formation which has been an absolute staple in FIFA itself, and I believe the first formation that your young Aussie FIFA used to use back in the day. G'day guys! God, those videos were cringe. But one thing's for certain, in FIFA 23, every single pro player and his dog... As if I'm just gonna randomly start has been using the 4-3-2-1. The formation itself is designed to pack players into key areas of the pitch, particularly in the midfield, and it consists of a back four made up of two full bats and two centre bats, three central for midfielders with more defensive duties and two more advanced creative midfielders with a lone striker. Not only does this formation overload the midfield with your three CMs so that you can actually outman the midfield against your opponent, but it also allows you to defend defensively with a 4-4-2 setup in defense to be very compact, but also get forward with your wing bats to overload the attack and basically outman your opponent. I have personally been using this in Elite Division to compete and try and qualify for FGS1, and I will say it is a very, very effective formation in FIFA 23. And I'm not the only one. 4321. The 4321 is the 4-3-2-1, and it is the truth. This is the custom tactics, player instructions, and the exact reason why this formation is one of the most effective in 23. Moving to the tactics, they're simple. Balanced 50, 65, balanced, balanced 50, six in the box, three, three for corners and free kicks. It's simple and that's how I like it. The most important aspect of this formation and the setup and why it's effective are the player instructions. So bear with me on that. The reason why I like it on balance is because I do like to have control mostly of where my players are at all times in the defense, also in the attack. If I can control that and know where they are positioned at all times, then that is the best thing about this formation and the tactics and keeping them on balance. If you have them on other settings, I find sometimes players are not always consistent in their positioning. That's why I like to have it on balance. But as I said, the instructions is one of the most important aspects and will help you set up as a 4-4-2 defensively, but also overload the attack when it comes to your wing bats getting forward and your attackers getting up the pitch. In terms of the three CMs, it's very important. You have it on balanced and cover wing for Perisic. He will stick out to the left mid position when it comes to the defense. We then have Lorente and De Bruyne on stay back while attacking and cover center so that they sit in the center of the pitch, but also Neymar on come back on defense. This is so he comes back to that right mid position and you'll see them line up in a four midfield position, okay? You then have your two attacking people. We have Havertz on stay forward and of course Mbappe, the man himself on balanced. I like him coming to receive the ball when building up not quite getting in behind, because you'll see exactly why in just a moment. In terms of the four at the back, Cancelo is on balance and overlaps, so he gets forward and gives him those attacking options, and then of course stay back for Kyle Walker. I'm defending with three defenders at the back, basically, so that they come back, and yeah, they essentially give me that defensive option. I do sometimes, if I'm getting back into a game, have Kyle Walker on get forward to give myself that extra attacking wing back, but stay back is what he stays on at the start of the game. Now this is important. The reason exactly why you want to have your midfielders and your attackers on balance and in general, the reason why this formation is so effective is because you can build up through the middle and then as you get down to the 18 yard bots, play it out to the width where Cancelo is making that overlapping run. You then drag the defense out and you open up gaps and space in the middle which essentially allows you guys to exploit those spacing gaps once the defense is drawn and find those key passes in the center to where the gaps in space have opened up. It's exactly why, in a nutshell, why this formation is so effective and why pro players are using this constantly now throughout the beginning stages of FIFA 23. So you guys should definitely give us a try if you want. It's what I'm coaching in my academy right now. And if you want to be coached with this formation and actually learn the ins and outs of it and how to attack properly, how to defend properly, you can join that. The link is down below. Check it out. The link will be there for you guys to join and obviously, you know, uh, keep in touch with that, uh, that academy. Of course, also, you know, keep in touch with the No Money Spent Road to an Event series, the series where I show you the ins and outs of what it takes to make an eSport event. We vlog everything, so check it out. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sign Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.